What is up, my Termination? Sean City Gamer here, and this is a vlog I really never thought I'd have to make. But I bet you guys are wondering just what the hell happened to the channel in the past week. How videos suddenly vanished and then vanished on uh, on uh, Valentine's Day and then suddenly reappeared Saturday night. Well, it's a long story, and it has to go back to my previous Twitter stuff. As many of you guys know, I was I was hounded on my original Twitter account that is now permanently suspended at Tron City 25 for tweets that I had sent to Izzy saying that you know I, I I would say that I love her and I called her cute and stuff and I realize now that those were in the wrong context because of the fact that I'm 27 and she's only 11 years old. I realize now that that um, I should have exercised much better I should have exercised much more caution when tweeting to Izzy and that I probably should have said things like you know good luck with becoming a future champion I shouldn't have made it sound so personal and everything because that does kind of set off red flags that you know maybe a person's interested in kids as an adult and nobody really wants that so for my previous Twitter transgressions, I am deeply sorry, and I hope that all of you can forgive me because I am admitting it straight up, I am not a pedophile, I'm just a fan of Izzy as a wrestler, and I want to see her become a WWE superstar one day, and I just, um, believe me, if I could, if I could get a time machine and, you know, take a trip back to then, when I first made those tweets, I would be much more careful with it. And everything else but in theory I'm kind of glad the original Twitter account is dead because even though it's even though it's gonna be pretty much nine years down the tubes I pretty much have refollowed everybody that was on the original account anyway and this gives me a chance to um, make like a fresh start you know and show people that hey I'm not the creep that they think because I'm most certainly not I just made a huge mistake and I've been trying to fix things and that's basically all there is to that. That, you know, I've wanted to fix things for the longest time now. I made a mistake. I've been owning up for it since last October. And I just want to show people that, hey, I ain't a creep. I just made a mistake. And I'm willing and trying my best to fix things. So now, on to the matter of my channel. What happened was, during the whole Izzy saga, a couple of guys that I thought were out to get me at match ratings and at bullet I thought that they were you know have to get me because of the duty stuff but it turns out that they were just pawns in a bigger scheme you see um, what happened was I was on discord one night and um, this guy at discord user I think it was 25 or 15 or whatever he came on and said hey I can help you with, with these guys they're bullying you and all that and, I, and I'm thinking to myself okay if you can help me, go for it. I'll be glad to accept any help that I can to get these guys off my back. And I and he says, you know, if you just give me your YouTube info, I can help you out. And me thinking the guys on my side, because we'd actually had a lengthy YouTube con we actually had a lengthy Discord uh, phone chat, a, a, a Discord call rather, the day before all this shit went down. Um, we'd actually had a lengthy Discord call and. He says, you know, if you give me if you give me your uh, info, I can, you know, I can get your original uh, Twitter account back. So I try that, and he says, you know, I almost got in, but some guys hacked and destroyed my computer. So I'm thinking myself, okay. And he said, and then he says, oh, I can get your YouTube videos back. Uh, and I said, sure, you know. I, he said he almost got in, and he said I can get your YouTube videos back that were lost. And me, I, I'd actually woken up Valentine's Day morning to find that 300 of my videos were lost. At the time, I didn't know it was this guy, but anyways, he says, "Sure, I can get your stuff back. Just give me your info." And me, being the naive sob that I was at the time, I give him the info. And you know, he's doing what I believe he's doing. What I think he's doing is trying to fix my channel. In actuality, he's going on there and deleting even more videos from the channel. So, here I am in a complete panic. Because I'd lost about 300 videos to my channel. 
and somebody I thought, you know, I'm thinking that, you know, maybe this guy, maybe this guy just uh, did his program wrong or something and everything. And, you know, while I'm trying to explain all this to my friends, my Discord gets hacked. And I end up losing the Discord at, at that point. So I had to make another Discord. Um, and just crazy shit goes down. Eventually, we all, all of us, my friends and me, we find out that the two guys that I thought were, you know, the ringleaders of this whole thing, match ratings and bullet, that I, like I said, turns out that they were just pawns to the whole situation. The real villains of this whole thing? The bunch of horny 13-year-olds. That's where the whole thing of me being a pedophile comes from. Imagine that. 13-year-olds calling a 27-year-old a pedophile. They probably don't even know what the frickin' word means. So yeah, turns out this whole Discord user guy that I thought was my friend, he was the one that took my info that I gave him, like a knucklehead, thinking that he was on my side, and deleted about 300 of my videos. I was too trusting, and he made me pay for it in a huge way. But, thanks to the miracle of good YouTube support, and the fact that I pretty much uploaded every video I ever did to my Google Plus account, which, for those of you that use Google Plus, it'll be going away on April 2nd of this year. Thanks to uh, YouTube support, I was able to get everything back. I even I even managed to uh, smooth things out with match ratings and bullet. We're actually good friends now. Um, I was able to get all my videos back, and I even got my original Discord back. So, all in all, everything's back, and um, I just had to make this video to let you guys know what the hell happened. I actually got the, everything, all my videos back on Saturday night, so there was mass celebration that day. <laughs> but anyways, I had to let you guys know why the channel had suddenly gone silent for about a week in terms of content, and why 300 plus videos suddenly vanished into thin air. And um, if you guys are wondering where you can follow me on Twitter, it's now... At it's the Twitter is now at realccg underscore yt. Um, I'll put it in the description of the video if you guys aren't sure what it is. But anyways, that's the story. And like I said about the Izzy thing, I've been I realize now that what I said to Izzy was wrong. And if I could change things, I definitely would. But now that I have a second Twitter account and everything, um. I'm going to be much more careful with what I tweet in the future. And to those of you that went after me, I hope you'll give me a second chance. And to those of you that already subbed to me on YouTube, I hope that you understand my situation and hope that I, and hope you understand I never meant any harm. I just was trying to be a fan of a young athlete and I said some things that I shouldn't. And I do deeply regret it. I do deeply regret any possible, um, backlash that may have done to my reputation. I've always been a big fan of professional wrestling, and I've been a huge fan of Bailey since she got her big NXT push in 2015. That's where Izzy first was spotlighted in the NXT crowd. So, um, at first I didn't think anything of it, but then she starts making Twitter headway uh, last year when she challenges that guy Effie for the uh, internet championship for punk pro wrestling. I, I've actually been blocked by that uh, by the Twitter for the Internet Championship. It's kind of funny. Um, the person that tweets it, that I guess runs that Twitter account for the Internet title, they actually blocked both of my accounts. Trump City 25 Watt was still active, and they blocked my backup one. That is now my main Twitter account. It's actually funny. They actually blocked me, thinking that, you know, I'm a fucking creep for stuff I said. But, yeah. Now, I just want to, uh, I just want to start fresh in terms of I just want to start fresh in terms of a Twitter presence and make everything right. So, uh, to those of you watching this video, for all the thing, for all the, uh, for all the strange things I said on Twitter, I am deeply sorry. I just want to uh, make things right and start fresh with all of you. Uh, some of you, that probably doesn't mean anything, but to those that, uh, but you know, to those that are following, this is an honest message from the bottom of my heart. And to all of my YouTube subs, I hope this doesn't change your opinion of me, but I ha I feel like I had to come out and clear the air. So that's why I made this video. I want to let you guys know that everything is okay. I've gotten all my videos back, um, got my Discord back and everything else. The two guys I thought were my biggest enemies were not friends. I just had to get everything straight and explain that, hey, everything's on the up and up now. So everything is fine in the termination 
and I just had to get this out there for all of you. So, um, until the next video, which will probably be uploaded soon because they've got a lot of them already pre-rendered. Um, until the next video, this is your boy Chum, so you can sign out. Remember, if you like the video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe to join Termination today. If you have any video game questions, tell them in the comments of this video or my Twitter feed, realccg underscore YouTube. I'll put that, YT, I'll put that in the description for those of you. And until the next video, peace out. And I sincerely hope that to those that um, have not encountered me on YouTube or on Twitter, that this video will help you understand that I'm just trying to atone for my mistakes. I just want to make things right. And to those of you following me, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Until the next video, peace out. Much love to all of you.